Well, I got the baby birds moved out to the grow out pen from the brooder box. They're three and a half weeks old, something like that right now, but there's a little bit of a problem. I only ended up with about half of what I started with, and I'm not really sure why. Well, like I said, I got all the babies moved out to the brooder here. Let's open this up. We'll take a look at them real quick, and then I'll tell you kind of the story about what happened here. They're all doing just fine over here in the sandbox, having a good time. Looks like I need to clean the sandbox out, but there's about 19, 20 of them in there, I think. Uh, they're finding the food, the water. They're, they're getting along just fine, no problems whatsoever. I don't know if you can see those guys or not. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. So there you go, there they are. They're all gonna run to the other side now that I'm over here making noise. Go on, get on the other side, guys. Go on, we'll go to the other side and look at them. Go, 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 go. Go, little guy, go. Go, go, go. There we go. Now here they are. Hopefully you can kind of see those guys over there. Make noise out here, they're gonna go back in this side. <laughs> anyway, let me close this up. We'll get back and talk about them a little bit. All right, so far they're doing great. They've been out here for about two days now. I was a little concerned putting them out here because the nighttime temperatures are getting down in the mid 50s now. So it's a little bit on the chilly side, but you know, they're doing just fine. They found the food, they found the water. They're uh, getting along, no problems whatsoever. Haven't lost a single one of them since I moved them out. Now, in the brooder box is another story. Um, I'll take you inside and show you the brooder box here in a second, but I'll, I'll just say, you know, I lost a couple, like two or three, I think. Once I moved them to the brooder, I had two or three die. They got wet for whatever reason. You know, it just happens every once in a while. Two or three, maybe four at the most, that I had actually die in the brooder box itself. And the rest of them just disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. I think I got to redo my brooder box, make it a little bit more secure. I don't know if they got out. Um, I did get a snake in there one day. Um, pretty large rat snake. If you guys watched my video a couple of, oh, I guess it was a month or so ago, I caught a little rat snake in one of the brooder boxes. This was a much bigger rat snake, and he had eaten probably two of them at that point. Got him out, took him out, and let him go. I don't know if there's been more snakes around that ate them. I didn't find dead bodies in the brooder box. They just disappeared. So let's go take a look at the brooder box, and uh, I'll tell you what I'm kind of thinking I need to redo. All right, so this is my brooder box. This is an old bed liner out of my truck. Um, there's, I don't see a lot of holes in here where a bird could get out. Um, I've got this lid. The lid's not super secure, but it's big and or it's secure enough that they shouldn't have been able to jump out of here but who knows maybe the first couple of days um, there may be a slight gap down here and one over on that side right there I thought I had them pretty secure but I may not have so they may have crawled under and gotten out I didn't find any birds you know like laying around the sides or the back of the box or anything like that uh, they may have gotten out of the shed completely and if they did they probably ended up you know a cat got them or something like that but that's an awful lot of birds. It's like 15 or 16 birds that I just disappeared on me that I can't account for. Like I said, I lost three or four, and then um, I had the snake eat probably two of them. And I don't know, maybe there were other snakes that came in and ate them and took off, and I, I never saw them. But that's a lot of birds for snakes to eat. Um, they, you know, they don't, birds, I mean, snakes are not, they don't eat every day. They eat, you know, once a week, once every couple of days, three or four days, something like that. If they eat one of these birds, or two of them for that matter, no bigger. I mean, that last snake I caught was probably a four and a half foot, something like that. He was a little bigger than the, than the small one I caught, but still, two birds is going to hold him over for the better part of a week. And these guys were only in here for about three weeks, so that's not... That doesn't account for 17 birds. I'm not sure what happened to them, but I think I'm going to have to redo this brooder box uh, to make it more secure for the quail. Um, and I may just build a whole new box for them. I don't know. Or I may go back to using the tubs because losing half the birds is not a good option. Um, yeah, I'm looking in here. I mean, it needs cleaned out, of course, but there's no dead birds in here. So I don't know where they went. They just disappeared on me. It must be that I didn't get this uh, box real secure. Let me get out of here so I can talk to you a little bit better without being cramped up in here. So I used the, uh, that brooder for the chickens, the meat chickens, when I had them, and it worked great for them. Used it for my first uh, batch of quail, and it worked really, really well for them as well. But for some reason, this last batch, I just lost, like I said, about half my birds. Have no idea where they went. I don't know if they got out, if something got in and got them. Um, I didn't see anything disturbed when I went in there. They just disappeared. So it's got to be that it's just not that secure. So I don't know. I may redo that brooder box, or I may just build a whole new one for the quail. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, 
I, I've got a little bit of time to figure that out. I can go back to using the uh, the big plastic uh, tubs that I've been using before. The one problem with those is, I mean, I really like the big brooder box because you don't have to clean it out until, the, until they're done, until they're out of the brooder box and they go on to the grow out pen, then you clean it out. Whereas with the tubs, I've got to clean them out every couple of days um, and it becomes a, or every other day, or every day, usually whenever, by the time they're moving out, um, it gets pretty dirty pretty quick. So I really like having the bigger brooder box, um, but you know, if I'm going to lose half the birds every time, that's not a good option. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out just yet. I've got to rethink it. Um, it may be that I have to rebuild that top for it. And if that's the case, I may just build a whole new box for them. Something a little bit bigger, maybe something like the grow out pins. In fact, I may even put it out here by the grow out pins, build it up on stilts like that. So it's a little bit higher off the ground. I don't have to worry as much about predators getting into it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. If you got any ideas, leave comments below. Um, I haven't really been uh, doing a good job of responding to comments lately, but they do come through an email and I generally read them. I just don't have time to always go in and respond to them. So I thought I'd share my experience with that. But as far as the babies that made it, the babies that made it are doing great. You know, like I said, about three and a half weeks old. You know, we're getting high 70s, low 80s during the day and lows in the mid 50s at night and they've just handled it just fine the past couple of days. So that's a good sign there. But anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share that experience with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, God bless.